the Knoxville incline actually went right where you can see here in between those two walls. The rails were there. Obviously, they're gone now, but uh, the history was there and moved a lot of people up and down for the work day. Another shot of the slopes, and this is Southside Park. These are some sort of just concrete blocks in the middle of everything. I don't exactly know what their purpose was, but thought it was kind of cool when they were graffitied over. The park was very, very steep, and the trails were pretty narrow, so it was a challenge on a bike, but and it was raining too, so that added another element to this whole situation, but I really liked it, and it was a athletic workout. In the middle of the Southside Park here, it's pretty wild actually. Uh, the, the trail is very unforgiving and narrow, so it's tough on a bike, but um, definitely, definitely worthwhile and a good workout too. A little bit more of the same here, just winding through it. I don't know if water naturally comes here or not, uh, but it just rained a lot, so I figured it probably is coming more than normal. It's just the Southside Park Tombstone Trail. Those are those funny stones that I showed a bit back. Um, I'm just gonna go to the other part of this if I can. Uh, rain is not doing as bad as I thought it would, so I'm just gonna come from here, and come around this way, and see what that looks like. I think I've got to the trail's highest part. Um, definitely wild because uh, that baseball diamond's just down there. You can barely see it. Kind of that orange building. And it rises really quick. Obviously, it goes a little bit higher, but uh, these hills are pretty cool. The trail's not too big either, it's uh, like a single. Back on 18th Street here. Unfortunately, I did not find the entrance to that mine that I was looking for. It's a mine that went from Southside Park to uh, what is now like Carrick. Thought it would have been cool. Apparently, it's not that easy to find at all. But the other one that's in Carrick, the other the entrance of the south entrance to it, is uh, is in there. So I will get to that eventually too. Anyway, just coming back down 18th Street here. Good bit of rain we got. The cops are. Uh, doing something here but anyway good stuff here I tried to find information on why these exist where they are I don't know if there used to be a gate or something there but I couldn't find anything if anyone knows please let me know back at the original place I started I'm still bummed I couldn't find this the entrance to that mine I thought that would have been really cool I don't know if there'd be like an art some sort of like I don't know marker or whatever Mission pumping station. I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, the building's really cool and old. It looks like it used to be a school for some reason, but it's not anymore. Went down to the arts festival. It was like vendors and vendors of tchotchkes, unfortunately. I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I guess it was just more of a sales thing than anything. I thought it was going to be like maybe some art exhibits, sculptures, stuff like that. Who knows? It was okay though. Anyway, uh, this Market Square. It's always kind of a cool place to bike through. I think this is like a synagogue, I think, because it looks like there's, it's Hebrew writing. And there's a Star of David back there. This building's like, looks like it's for sale, at least the land is. Um, pretty wild structure here. It's like a circle, I guess. Um, just kind of, definitely looks like old school stuff. Pretty cool. It was obviously very detailed in its construction, a little bit of graffiti over the boards. This building, I think, was associated with the church somehow. It's obviously incredibly abandoned. I'm back here. It's not too much better. Looks like it had its own uh, smokestack for energy, I guess, creating its own heat. 
which is kind of interesting. This is uh, just a random abandoned building, and then there's a van parked there, and then over here next to this Pentecostal thing, there's an old Pittsburgh Post Gazette thing. That's an actual working building, the Pentecostal church. I think that's the one where they do all the yelling and screaming. Anyway, uh, creepy back here for sure. I wish there was a way to get in there. Uh, it'd probably be amazing for photography, but uh, I would also probably be scared on my own. So anyway, another day. Uh, very actually easy to find once you get in the neighborhood it is uh, this Larimer school that keeps coming up on the list of places to check out for just some crazy pictures obviously no easy looking way in I'm sure there is one uh, so it's obviously really beat up and abandoned and who knows maybe they'll rip it down and do something else there's housing going up in this area like crazy so it would make sense that it would eventually be turned into something else uh this street's obviously a little bit different because it's empty lot house empty lot but literally two blocks from here is like a really really cool looking neighborhood that has like the lawrenceville not lawrenceville the um shady side style houses where it's like the colors are nice and it's hip everything but not so here just yet so well, i want to go in that other alley on the other side of it but uh that's even creepier it's uh maybe the time of day the fact that it stormed earlier it looks even weirder but uh man, it would be really cool to get in there but i'm sure you can get arrested too so that's it for now we'll see we'll see how it looks on the other side this is still the same side, but this is still worth looking at because of what state of disrepair it's in. It's definitely scary. Looks like right there is a way where people can easily get in. It's not, there's no barbed wire or anything. Uh, it's actually even more creepy over here because uh, it's just narrow and you don't really know what's down there. So, weird. This is like some back building. Another one of these smokestacks. I don't know why these places have this. But anyway, that's about it. Probably no way in, but not that I would even do it right now alone. So anyway, that's it. From actual Larimer Avenue, the street, the view. Definitely looks abandoned. <laughs> The pictures online look really cool from inside, but I don't want to get arrested either. This little neighborhood, if they eventually redo it. The church was cool too. Just for convenience, that church is obviously this Peter St. Peter and Paul Church is down the street from the school, which is behind me now. So that's always kind of interesting too.